Hi, Dan Carlson, Division Manager of Siler's Medical Division. Today what I want to show you is how to parfocalize the microscope and also the HD camera. Both very critical uh, when using the microscope. What parfocalization is, is it means that this microscope is going to be specifically set up for that individual so that when he or she rotates through the magnification that it stays 100% in focus. The last thing a doctor wants to do is being able to move the microscope or doing the fine focus if he's just uh, focused on one specific uh, part. So what I'm going to do is take a piece of paper. I'm going to draw an X on the piece of paper. You're going to have the doctor sit down. You're going to have the eyepieces, okay? Make sure those are always at neutral. And there's two little hash marks right here where you want to make sure that the hash marks are equally aligned. It's absolutely critical when you're doing par focalization. Then remember, this is called our coarse focus, and this is our fine focus, okay? So what we want to do is have the doctor come in you already have them set up your inner pupillary distance. Remember, get the doctor set up in his inner pupillary distance so that he can see one single image. You want to have him focus on the center of the X, okay? I'm going to go all the way up to the highest power on the surgical microscope, okay? Right here, as you can see, I'm a little blurry, and that's absolutely normal because this is all part of the par focalization process. So I'm on the highest power. I got the eyepieces at a neutral setting. Now what I'm going to do is do the coarse focus, bringing the microscope up or down until I'm absolutely as perfectly clear as possible. You're not going to be uh, as clear as you will be after you've done the par focalization, but you're going to get it as good in focus as you can. So. I come here, I touch the microscope, I'm going to move it up, oh, that's blurry, move it down, oh, that's about as good as I can get it, okay? So now what I'm going to do, uh, right now I'm perfectly coarse focused, so I don't want to move the microscope up or down anymore. I'm going to go to the lowest power of the microscope, I'm going to close my left eye look into the optic, and I'm going to rotate to the right, to the left, until I can get it as clear as I possibly can. Okay, I'm going to do the same with my other eye. Close my right eye, rotate the eyepiece to the left, right. Okay, that looks pretty good to me. All right, so right now I'm in focus. Now up here, what we have, since I know I'm in my course focus, my adapter has a focus ring, this black little focus ring, okay? So after I'm in my focus here at the lowest power, I've done my par focalization, this is where I come and I will rotate this until it's as good as possible as well. Okay, so now when I go from left one to two, to three, to four, as you can see, I'm as in focus as I possibly can be. So now I got the microscope set up for my individual eyes, and I got the camera set up for uh, my eyes as well. So if I look up here, I'm basically a negative two, negative two, and that's accurate. So that's par focalization. Uh, you need to do it every, not every time. So once I know that that's my par focalization, I just remember that. And I come in then, if you're using multiple uh, dentists on one surgical microscope, I just remember that I'm negative two, negative two, and then I'm good to go.